Hey guys, welcome back to Moe's Game Table. Today we're going to take a look inside Dog Sector, a game designed by Michael Kennedy and published by White Dog Games. This is another one of the games they picked up at the San Diego Historical Games Convention through Blue Panther directly. And uh, it's one I've had my eye on for a while. I've just not ordered it from White Dog Games. But being that I was there and they had it, I said, what the heck, I'm going to pick it up and take a look at it and share a look inside with you if you've been curious about this one yourself, but haven't picked it up. So let's take a look at the back of the box and see what this game's all about. Dog Sector is a beer and pretzels level solitaire war game that simulates the famous World War II Normandy amphibious landing in 1944. American forces from off-map transports assault the beach. Those units not swamped during the approach attempt to move up the beach toward the German-occupied bluffs, clearing obstacles as they advance. Some units, tanks, sharpshooters, and bazookas, execute ranged fire at fortified German units. Naval forward observers guide ship-to-shore fire support. The player's assault force faces German defensive fire from machine guns and anti-tank emplacements, Panzerfaust and rifle fire, as well as off-map German artillery. When the bluffs are reached, American units must clear the trenches by assault. The game tension is visceral as your brave Joes are pinned down or hit by the intense German fire. You'll grit your teeth as a combat engineer team deploys Bangalore torpedoes to clear obstacles while under fire. And cheer when a German unit is taken out by a tank or by a ship's guns directed by one of your forward observers. How many sections of German trench will your men be able to clear in the 12 heart-pounding game turns? Will you be a private or a colonel at the end of the game? Good luck, soldier. And here it lists the components as a 34 by 22 inch map, 176 5 8 inch counters, one 8 page full color rulebook, and you have different American and German unit types listed out here. It is for one player, 90 minutes, ages 13 and up. So let's take a look inside and see what you get. All right, we've got our rulebook and player aid, counter sheet, and our map. So let's set up the map, take a closer look at the game. And here's a look at the map that comes with Dog Sector. It's beautifully illustrated and I love the color palette. You have the landing area here on the beach. Immediately the first thing you're gonna run into is the hedgehogs, barbed wire, and then you have some mines along the bottom. And then you're gonna have more barbed wire and then a large minefield across before going into yet more barbed wire. Then you get your to your bluffs, your draws, and then your trenches that you'll be assaulting where the German positions are. And you can see the German crosses here. And across from the German crosses are these blue stars where the sectors are broken down. You're gonna have different sections, I should call them. Six, they're gonna be six hexes wide. And this is how you're gonna control the fire as far as who can shoot at who as you assault the trench line. Then over to the right of the map, you have your turn track, sequence of play, the American landing units, German fire, obstacle removal capability, and American fire. Every table you're gonna need in the game is right there on the map, so easy reference during play. And this is the player reference card. Gives you your sequence of play, the breakdown of units that come ashore during each turn, one through four, five through six, and seven through eight. German fire results table, the American fire results table. On the back, you have your terrain effects chart and the obstacle removal capability. Everything that is on the map already is on this player reference card. So that way, if you prefer to hold it in your hand and look at it, maybe you have a difficulty reading from a distance, you can easily look at this during play. We'll take a look at the counters here. We have blue for the US, gray for the Germans. We have some admin counters down here along the bottom and cleared markers here that you're gonna be using because we saw on that map, there is a ton of stuff that you're gonna to have to clear. And as you can see by the back of the counter sheet, many of these units are two-step units. Now we'll take a look inside the rulebook. It is an eight page rulebook. The rules actually end on page seven. The continuation of seven and eight is a combination of hints, designers, notes, and credits. Then we start off with our introduction, the map explanation and how to read the different types of terrain. Unit counters comes next and it gives you a breakdown of the different types of units in the game. Setup, the German deployment and uh, American pre-landing bombardment level. Then we get into our sequence of play, landing American units. And here's an illustrated example of how the landing of American units is handled. Check for swamped American units, German offboard artillery, and an example of how to handle that offboard artillery with American units on the beach. German trench fire, and then we get into the American beach activity, beach obstacle removal with the obstacle removal table here, American fire and how that's all handled. Then we get to the end turn, and we have hints, designer's notes, the terrain effects chart on the back of the book. And that is a look at everything you get inside of Dog Sector, a game designed by Michael Kennedy and published by White Dog Games. This is, uh, as it says on the back of the box, a beer and pretzels game, and it looks like a ton of fun. You got some American units coming ashore here. The whole idea is to get to the German trench line, take them out, 
before the end of turn 12. A lot of dice chucking, a lot of looking at tables, but not really difficult. Pretty low rules overhead and low counter density too. So pretty easy, just a lot of good nonstop Hollywood type action. So if you're looking for a game like that, this looks like it will fit that bill and something you can knock out in 60 to 90 minutes. And, uh, Knowing my luck with dice, it'll probably be a lot sooner and I'll be resetting, but it sounds like a lot of fun. I can't wait to get it to the table. I hope that helps you guys out. If you've been curious about this one, you have any comments or questions, post them down below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time.